Hey guys, welcome back to the Dan and Medical series. Today I'll be talking about skull anatomy. So we're going to learn all about the skull. And firstly, we're going to start with the bones. You know, we're going to do some osteo because, you know, bones are super important. Without the bones, you don't know where the muscles insert or so on and so forth. The bones are the framework. So we're starting with the basis. There is so many different things about the head or the skull and so on and so forth. But we're going to focus. So you guys have to follow me today with my cursor. So this is my white little cursor. My white little cursor here want you guys to follow me because there is so much you need to know. Let me show you how many things are on the skull. Let me show you my paints. So when you look at that, you see how crowded this got. So because I did not want to overwhelm you guys with too much information at once, I decided not to use my paints. So I'm going to use my cursor so follow me as i show you the major bones that you need to know with my cursor okay not using the pins today maybe when you guys get some more get a bit more advanced we can use the pins and so on you don't get confused and so on so let's start with this bone so if you're a scientist and you're creating or you're naming this bone what would you name this bone it's not very hard, you know. It's basically the position, where it is, and so on and so forth. Most of them get their names. So this is the frontal bone. So not everything that is highlighted is the frontal bone. Everything that I highlighted is the skull. But check where my cursor is. So this is the frontal bone at the front of your face. You'd expect that to be your frontal bone, right? So the next one is this one right here. Follow my cursor. This is a nasal bone right above your nose. In the nose area right there is your nasal bone. The next one is your maxilla. So this is your maxilla bone. You see the maxilla. And... <clears throat> When you talk about maxilla, you know you're coming down to the teeth. So when we talk about the teeth, anything that you hear in anatomy that has to do with the teeth, you'll hear that it's the alveolar process. So alveolar, alveolar process has to do with the teeth. So if they select anything down here, you know that this is your alveolar process. Okay? So... Think about alveolar lungs, the little pockets, so on. The teeth are in sockets or pockets or holes, so they call it the alveolar process. That's the best I can do with that explanation. So remember, frontal bone, nasal bone, maxilla, and alveolar process. Okay, the next bone is this big boy. So it's all the only thing that is highlighted right now. So this is your mandible. Mandible. Yeah. Down here, the lower jaw is your mandible. Okay. So the mandible have different parts to it. So here we have two little holes here. You guys can see those two little holes in your mandibles. That is your mental foramen. So as you get advanced or you learn more you'll hear what goes there the nerves and so on but for now naming them this is your mental foramen and right here where your mandible come to a join right there is a mental tubicle so this right here is your mental tubicle so mandible mental foramen and mental tubicle okay now let's go to another bone so this right here look where my cursor is not the highlighted portion right here i'd say it's my cheekbone you can see it it's called the zygomatic bone so this is your zygomatic bone remember to follow my cursor and not the highlighted portion that's your zygomatic bone okay so let's go over what we did so far so you guys don't get overwhelmed and you revise as you go along so this is my frontal bone my nasal bone 
my maxilla, the alveolar process, my mandible, and my zygomatic bone. Okay, we're good so far. Okay, good. So the next thing I want to show you guys is we're going inside of the nose per se. So right in here, when you go inside of your bone, your nose, sorry, is your ethmoid bone. This is your ethmoid bone. Inside there is your ethmoid bone. Okay, good. So the next thing I want to show you is some things of the eye. Right there, the, the eye hole or socket there. So this bone in here is your sphenoid bone. So if you you turn this the skull upside down or it's cut open, you can remove the top. You can see your sphenoid bone better. But this is your sphenoid sphenoid bone. So follow my cursor, my sphenoid bone. This one right here is my lacrimal bone. Follow my cursor only. This is a lacrimal bone. When you hear about lacrimal, we talk about tears and so on and so forth. So when you hear lacrimal, think about crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the lacrimal bone. Another thing, right here, you see this little hole in on the orbit. This is your supraorbital. Supra orbital foramen so little holes are called foramen supra orbital foramen and if you have a supra supra mean above or on top you right here is the infra orbital foramen so we have a supra orbital foramen and an infra orbital foramen right there so guys, let's do a little review of all the things we learned so far. So remember to follow my cursor. So frontal bone, nasal bone, ethmoid bone, maxilla, alveolar process, mandible, mental tubercle, Mental foramen, zygomatic, zygomatic bone, zygomatic bone, mm -hmm. sphenoid bone, supraorbital foramen, infraorbital foramen. So I think you guys got this. I know you guys got this. So let's turn a little bit to the side. So here, guys, I have my temporal bone. This one, follow my cursor. This is my temporal bone. Can you see my temporal bone? Yes, right here is my temporal bone. Then I just did the side not to overwhelm you guys. So... Let's go to the top. Let's turn him down like this. So we just discussed the frontal bone. Here we have the parietal bone or parietal bone. So these are your parietal bones. And let's just turn to the back. And this is your occipital bone. So anything at the back is your occipital bone. And right here protruding from your occipital bone is your external occipital protuberance. External occipital protuberance. So this bone is your occipital bone. This is your external occipital protuberance. Okay? So the next short thing we're going to learn about, guys, are the sutures of the skull. So when we talk about sutures, we're talking about the joining. So you see those little lines going on. You see all of these lines, like all the bones coming together. Because when you're like a baby and inter in in interuterine life your bones are not yet formed properly and they're coming together as you develop and so on so the sutures are responsible for joining the bones together so sutures are super important so today i'll be telling you about the major sutures of your skull 
and it should be important and it, it is important and it should be fun so let's make it fun so the first thing I'm going to do or tell you so remember to follow my cursor so let's go above the head so we're going to look at these remember that these are your parietal bones okay so we just did bones so these are your parietal bones and the one that goes like this in your parietal bone is your sagittal suture sagittal suture so i hope somebody that's watching this is a sagittarius so that like november december those type of people hope somebody is a sagittarius and they can remember this that at the top of my head there is a sagittal suture okay so we have that one covered and the The next one right here, like you're cutting off the front of your face. So right here is your coronal suture. Coronal suture. So sagittal suture between the parietal bones. Coronal suture, you're cutting off the front of your face going straight down. This is your coronal suture suture the next one here we see we have a line that join the frontal bone to the nasal bone so guess what we call it guys anatom is so easy this is your frontal nasal suture would you look at that yes and the next one is super easy just the same it's between your sphenoid bone and your frontal bone what do you think we will call that we call that the spinofrontal suture so this right here is your spinofrontal suture how easy is that guys so that's your spinofrontal suture so it's between the two bones so we just give it a name because what anatomy is so easy the next one is this one right here guys so it's between your spinoid bone and your parietal bone and we call this right here the spina parietal suture and we have another name for it the terion so that's p t e r i o n so the terion the p on terion is silent so it's the terion is also called the spino parietal suture that is so easy guys look at that and the next one this is remember this is your temporal bone and with the temporal bone we have your squamous suture because this is a squamous part of your temporal bone so this might be new to you guys but this is a squamous suture and the last one i want to show you guys before we review is the one at the back of your head remember this is your occipital bone and another thing i want to name guys is this bone so I kind of didn't do this one. This is your ma your mastoid process, just in case they ask. Or, so this is your mastoid process. So this suture at the back of your head, people would say, the suture that join your head back together, you know? Yeah, so this is your lambdoid suture. Lambdoid suture. So most of them, most of them are like the name of the two bones that come together but some may have some little differences so this right here is one which is your lambdoid suture so guys we literally just did seven sutures and we have to review them now because anatomy is so nice and fun and easy so let's say them together we have sagittal suture coronal suture Frontal nasal suture, spinal frontal suture, spinal parietal suture or your terion, spinal par spinoid spinoid bone, and your parietal bone gives you your spinal parietal suture or your terion, squamous suture, and 
Lambdoid suture. One last time, guys, because it's so fun, I can't even stop. So this is your sagittal suture, your coronal suture, your frontal nasal suture, your spinofrontal suture, your spinoparietal suture or your terion, your squamous suture, and your lambdoid suture. Would you look at that, guys? This is so fun and easy. So that's it for your suture anatomy. Okay, guys, so I basically showed you lots of bones today, and I don't want to overwhelm you guys. So let's do a review and just sum everything up for the bones. So let's go a little bit faster. Frontal bone, remember to say them with me and watch the cursor. Frontal bone, nasal bone, ethmoid bone, maxilla, alveolar process, mandible, mental tubercle, mental foramen, zygomatic bone, supraorbital foramen, infraorbital foramen, sphenoid bone, temporal bone, parietal or parietal bones, and occipital bone. And this protrusion here is your external occipital for tuberance. So I hope this helped you guys and you have a better understanding of the bones of your skull. If you have any more questions, please drop them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yay! Skull, skull. We just did skull, guys. So thank you so much for watching. And subscribe. Give me a S. S, you got a S, you got a S. Give me a U. U, you got a U, you got a you give me a B. Yeah, guys, subscribe. Thank you for watching.